Hi, I'm Jack from the Zano Controls technical team and I'm going to show you how to install a Z-Bar remote dimming pack. I'm also going to show you how to get the very best out of your install using three unique features. The minimum, the start and the maximum settings. In this instance, I'll be showing you how to install it with a rotary controller. If you're using a different switch, you will need to watch one of our other videos. If you're unsure about anything, just give our friendly team a call. So, let's get started. First of all, isolate the power at the mains. Once the power's off, find the joint box and the relevant circuit. When the circuit's isolated and you're satisfied that it's safe, fix your Z-Bar securely beside the box. Now you're ready to wire it up. The Z-Bar LED has an 8-core cable which is colour-coded and numbered. No matter what type of controller you use, the first four are connected the same way. Take the green and yellow cable and connect it to the earth terminal. Then take the brown cable marked 1 and connect it to the live. Next take the blue marked 2 and connect it to the neutral. The grey cable number 3 is for the live feed to the lamps. Now for a rotary controller, we're not going to need the red and black cables 4 and 5. These need to be individually isolated in suitable terminal blocks. Next, take the white cable marked 6 and terminate it onto the brown switch line and the purple number 7 to the blue switch line. Now let's connect the switch. You can use grid module or plate mounted. Zano rotary controllers are all wired the same way. Take the brown wire L1 and connect to the terminal labelled 6. The blue wire connects to terminal 7. Also be absolutely sure to terminate your earth cable according to regulations. Now fix your switch back to the wall or switch box securely and safely, ensuring all terminations are safe. Once that's done, switch the power back on and you're ready to put the dimmer into programming mode. Start by turning the lights on and clockwise to full brightness. Press again to turn off and then fully anti-clockwise. Press once more to turn on and the lights will flash once. This indicates that the dimmer's in programming mode. You're now ready to set the minimum level. Turn the control to choose the light level, then release and wait for 5 seconds. The light will now flash once more to show you that it's been set. Next, it's time to set the start level. You have 5 seconds from the last flash to begin. Just use the control to select the level for the lamps to turn on, then release and wait 5 seconds for the lights to flash again and the setting has been saved. We've introduced this feature because some LEDs simply won't switch on at a very low level. The Z-Bar LED enables you to set the lights at a slightly higher level for when you first start them. This ensures that the LEDs get enough power to come on evenly, but then allows dimming down to the lower minimum level. This helps to achieve the very best dimming range for your install. So what about the boost level? Well, we found that some LEDs require so much energy to start up that we've added another great feature called the boost setting. If you find that the lamps do need this, simply set the start level to maximum and the boost is activated, giving the lamps an extra kickstart to get going, after which they will smoothly adjust and operate as normal. Finally, we have the maximum level. This controls the upper limit of your lamps. As before, you have five seconds from the last flash to begin. Select the level, then wait for the final flash and you're finished. In addition to saving these preferences, the Z-Bar will also eliminate dead travel from your controller. It will automatically adjust so that the highest level is reached at the very end of the turn for the best user experience. And don't forget, if you would like to change any of the levels you've set, simply follow the steps again to put the dimmer back into programming mode and readjust. To skip a setting, just wait for the 5 second flash to pass and continue on to the next stage. Easy. All of these selections will be stored in the Z-Bar. Adding or removing controllers won't affect them. They will even remain stored if there's a power cut. If you want to dim more lamps, you can add more Z-Bars to the circuit. You can also connect multiple controllers. Simply make sure you connect them in parallel 
to the first one. And that's it, another fit and forget solution only available from Zano Controls.